Well, police have just released this new surveillance video from a high-profile case that we've been following here at KPRC2. The footage gives a closer look at what happened when a little girl was shot and killed. That is the night that 9-year-old Arlene Alvarez was shot. She died a day later. The shooting happened last Monday on Woodridge Drive and Winkler Drive. That is where KPRC2's Michael Laparty is live tonight with more of that surveillance video. Michael? Yeah, well, the Chase Bank is just behind me here, and that newly released video includes multiple angles and shows the moments just before the girl was shot. This is the new video of the robbery at the ATM as shared by Houston Police Robbery. While part of the screen is blurred, the video shows the robbery suspect holding a gun and wearing a ski mask. Houston Police said Tony Earls and his wife were the ones robbed and that Earls shot at the robbery suspect who was running away and then at a pickup truck he thought the robbery suspect had gotten into. The video shows what appears to be the robbery suspect running off. At the top right of the screen, you see a flash by the vehicle at the ATM and the robbery suspect pointing back that way. Then just seconds later, also in the upper right, four more flashes as the pickup truck drives by. Police say nine-year-old Arlene Alvarez was shot inside the truck and later died. HPD had previously released this clip of video showing the robbery suspect climbing over a gate. And police say that the robbery suspect holds the handgun in his left hand during the robbery and as he jumps over the fence, so it's possible that he is left-handed. They are looking for help identifying that suspect tonight. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Michael Lopardi, KPRC 2 News.